Welcome to Angie TV. Welcome to the presentation on the city of Mariesta, Florida. I'm Angelia Huff and Mr. Ed Miller is our video producer and is responsible for this wonderful video you are about to view. Mariesta is located in Northwest Florida in between Fort Walton Beach and Navarre. They are lucky enough to have two Air Force bases on either side of them, Herbert Field and Eglin Air Force Base. They are honored to have the military as a neighbor and support them as much as possible. The city of Mariesta is noted as one of the first areas settled in this part of Northwest Florida. The first settler of Mariesta came in 1842 when Jesse Rogers and his family drove a large cattle herd from Louisiana to the shores of Santa Rosa Sound and settled there. During the mid-1850s, John Newton, a minister and teacher, settled in the area west of Fort Walton Beach known as the Narrows, today known as Mariesta. Reverend Newton founded the first school, which is also dubbed as a church during the Civil War. There are three stories about how Mariesta got its name. One says it's the name of Newton's wife. The second says it was a combination of his two daughters' names. And the third said it was a combination of his wife's and daughter's names. No one knows the true story. John Newton established the first post office in Mariesta community October the 10th 1871. And old-timers say that may have been when he honored his daughters because the community had to have a mailing name. The location was probably in the home of John Newton who became Mary Esther's first postmaster. Each year October the 10th is celebrated as Founders Day. In 2014 a resident came forward with pictures from a local cemetery of the engraved tombstones of Mary Christine Newton and Esther Newton. This lends credence to the possibility the city of Mary Esther was eventually named after Reverend Newton's daughters. The Pryors and Roger families. Jefferson Pryor, born in Greenville, Alabama, settled in Mary Esther in 1854 as a deckhand on a schooner headed to Pensacola. Pryor met Ona Rogers, daughter of Jesse Rogers, and they were married in 1879. The couple had 10 children, two of which, Tom and Roger Pryor, later served as mayors of the town. William C. Pryor, Mary Esther's pioneer and noted educator, was among the first pupils taught by John Newton. He later became Okaloosa County's first superintendent of schools. The Priors continued to live on the same property purchased by the original settlers in the early 1800s, located on the north bank of Santa Rosa Sound. Mary Esther was incorporated in 1946 with E. Roger Pryor as the first mayor. E.R. died in January 1995. Bacon Page was the second mayor and Tom Pryor, the third mayor, served for 28 years. They have a council manager form of government. Alice Rogers married Charlie Shipley and her mother Mary Watson Rogers gave them as a wedding gift six acres of waterfront property located just west of the home place where she and Charlie built and ran a summer boarding house in Mary Esther called the Cedars. Named for the many cedar trees growing there, people spent their vacations and it was very popular. In 1906, the hotel was completed and they would entertain their guests by telling of a legend of a headless woman which took place on the island across the sound from the Cedars. The headless woman's story goes as this. A pirate came to claim his bride, whom he found dressed in her bridal clothes, in the arms of another man. He cut her head off, threw it on the island. They claim on full moon nights, the headless woman can be seen walking over the island looking for her head and with her trailing bridal gown, wiping out all tracks that were left in the sand. The Cedars is long gone now, but the name still lives on in the apartment building that is located at its spot called the Cedars. Jesse Rogers Memorial Cemetery. 
Jesse Rogers Memorial Cemetery is located on the south side of Highway 98 in Mariesta, Florida, a block west of Mariesta Cutoff at the traffic light for the Target Shopping Center. An article in May 25, 1980, Playground Daily News, shed light on this historic resting place. It described the beautiful cemetery then as guarded by tall cypress trees, moss-draped oaks, and the waters of Santa Rosa Sound which still reflects the locale today. The land was so wild that bonfires were kept burning at night to keep the black bears from devouring the family pigs. He was in his late 80s when he died in 1888 and was originally buried in a wooded spot that he had chosen near where Hollywood Boulevard and Mary Esther Boulevard intersect. Often referred to as a pirate with legendary treasure booty, his gravesite was frequented by those hoping to find a fortune. His grandson, J.V. Rogers, quietly moved his remains one night to the old Mary Esther burial ground in an unmarked spot. A group of his descendants later named the cemetery after him. In 1977, the property was deeded to the city for maintenance and administration. There are numerous of old grave sites, such as one from 1885 of Peter Green, born in 1826 in Nova Scotia. Another of an infant, Leela Sykes, born in late 1898 and died the following 4th of July. Reads a little time on earth she spent till God for her his angel sent. There are no grave sites available at this time for sale, just a few cremation sites remain. Will the real Billy Boleg stand up? William Billo Augustus Bolus was an alleged British spy that traveled in Rome, Northwest Florida in the late 1700s. He later died in Havana, Cuba in 1805. The name Billy Bolegs was to have hunted Jesse Rogers, one of the first settlers in our city, Mary Esther. William Augustus Bolus was nicknamed Billo and the phonetic difference between Billo Bolus and Billy Boleg is certainly not great. In the late 1850s, Jesse Rogers moved to present-day Mary Esther. Rogers was a terrible bow-legged man and his contemporaries habitually referred to him by the nickname Billy Bolegs. He became a recluse which led some to believe that he had buried treasure, a speculation which has caused his last resting place to be repeatedly desecrated by treasurer seekers. William Rogers was known as Charlie Bowlegs because he was a squat man and it is claimed that he buried treasure in the Florida sands and settled down to guard it. Today's legend. Pirate Billy Bolegs is said to have been a lieutenant in Lafitte's band. He retired from pirating in 1828 and moved from New Orleans to Okaloosa where he married a Choctaw Indian woman and lived out his life on his retirement farm. Now let's fast forward to the 1970s in Mariesta, Florida. The opening of Santa Rosa Mall in 1976 sparked a commercial building boom along Mariesta Cutoff, which was later named Mariesta Boulevard that no one had ever envisioned. The two and a half square mile city now boasts an estimated population of 3,854 residents, and that's 2014 stats. The 2.5 miles of Mary Esther have small residential neighborhoods, and they also have 10 beautiful parks, including a 14 acre nature park and a free public boat ramp and pier. Ed and I attended the March regular legislative meeting of the Mary Esther City Council located at 195 Crystal Ball Road, North Mary Esther, Florida. The City of Mary Esther has elected officials as well as appointed officials. During the meeting, the minutes were passed for February legislative minutes. The other business included the acceptance of the 2014 financial audit, which is called a CAFR, was passed. They also passed the water and sewage form budget, which was $32,128. The second reading of the ordinance, the budget amendment for Well 3, was also passed. Setbacks for $7,151, they're talking about the new sections, was actually passed. The first reading of the ordinance for the commercial building heights was also passed. ED 
EDC funding in the amount of $100 from their legislative budget was also passed. The main topic of the meeting was the continuing service contract with J.E. Dorman and Associates. The mayor needed clarifications of how this contract would be funded. The city managers, Ms. Ola, stated their savings existed in the comprehensive plan line item from the proposed LDC work and that Mr. Dorman recommended a budget amendment not to be done until the closure to the end of the physical year if needed. It was approved for J.E. Dorman and Associates to receive a continuing services contract. Then Mr. Jack Dorman took the mic. He presented the DRI, which is called the Development Regional Impact Closeout, and the timeline and process for this modification. The original DRI case of the Santa Rosa Mall was issued in 1974, and it deemed complete in 1976. The first modification was issued in 1985 and completed in 1986. The second and the final mod was completed in 1994. It was stated that the Florida statutes addresses substantial build-out, but not complete build-out, so he turned to the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity for assistance. Mr. Mark Yeelin of FDEO responded by saying the city only needed to send a letter to his office with a copy of the WFRPC and provide a sample language for the letter which will address the closeout. Mr. Dorman stated the benefit to the city is control of what does and doesn't happen with further development at the mall in a more timely fashion and it's also less expensive. He requested the council authorize the mayor or the city manager to send a letter and reference above. Mayor Pro Stearns motioned and it was seconded by council member Griffin. The council voted unanimously to direct the city manager to prepare a letter to the land planning agency with subject matter. Reference paragraph included in the email, DRI closeout. Thank you today for joining us on this enlightening view of the city of Mariesta, Florida. And I'm Angie Huff. Hey, hey, KXP, come on, time to... Uh -huh. And when we tell, tell her, man, pick, pick up your flow, pick up, up, pick up. I said, hey, 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 pick up your flow, pick up, up, pick up your flow. Uh huh, hey, pick up your head. Uh huh, pick up your head. Hey, hey, break it down. Let me tell them how it goes down. Look, I got it, you get it good. That's the way that it's gotta be. Take a ride off what I'm reading. So, Gorilla Monopoly. They asking what's up with me. Haters can't get enough of me. Humble me, but I'll transform without a sound like I'm Bumblebee.